So this is my analysis of the Volvo Club. So I teamed up with Alice Bending, who is very creative and is very arty and is very good at making things. Whereas I'm a lot more performance based, so it's quite good that we teamed together so we could bring two different things to the piece. So she did a lot of um, the way it was going to look and where things were going to go and she did um, made the posters of like the Volvo Club and the different like subtitles of the different sections where as I was more in charge of organising everybody, setting up rehearsals, um, directing people. I spent a lot of time with Ella's trip on a monologue. I spent time organising the uh, introduction of My Vagina is Angry where I split it up into different sections and we rehearsed that and I went over it and told her how the girls I'd like it, how it's going to be staged. Um, so that was good. In terms of the performance, it what we really wanted was to people was people to discuss and talk about these taboo subjects. Um, and we weren't sure if people were going to be shy and feel embarrassed or just let go and talk. And everyone was getting involved in talking. We had a blog up on the side where people were... Um, at reading and analysing and they were everyone was having discussions about that and the other thing that we did was I bought some cups saying I have cystitis of filled with cranberry juice and put vagina straws in them because cranberry juice is meant to be really good for cystitis or any kind of infection like that and I was unsure by putting the vagina straws into the cup where if people were going to pick them up were they going to be too embarrassed to drink from them were they going to say no thinking people thought they had cystitis but they all went really quickly and a lot of people asked for more, so that was quite good. Um, we also had signs on the board saying, like, what would your vagina wear and what would your vagina say? Where we wanted people to answer questions um, and, and like, um, write on the pieces of paper and stick them up on the board, at, again, to trigger discussion. We had a trial of this as we set up a camera in one of the theatre rooms at university and... Um, where we'd ask people direct these direct questions and a lot of people were a bit embarrassed and nervous but a lot of people were up for doing it so we thought it was going to work so that worked really well um, a lot of people got involved they came, most people saw everything they came like we facilitated it around to different areas but a lot of people came to all these different performances and we had one section which was called the Volk Club so we sat down and I wrote two monologues that I put into envelopes that I put on certain chairs and literally so many people were picking up saying can I read this, can I read this as we wanted it to be like um, people share the stories and get the audience involved in the performance so that was good and that worked really well. What didn't work was Alice and I um, both have different speeds of working. I like to be very organised and, and be very far ahead where she's a lot more laid back so we had a few problems there um, also with rehearsals a lot of people our cast were having difficulties meeting up with us which was quite hard because I understand that they had uh, um, dedications for their own performances and things but it was so hard to get everybody together all the time and the other thing was that we did like um, we asked them to do video diaries numerous times we told them what to do we gave them certain subjects and not one of them did it so that was quite disappointing but you can't expect them to do everything and we also made these vaginas out of plaster paris and play-doh and only one person uh, was willing to make one so again that didn't work too well um, the other thing about the actual performance that didn't work was the timing we did an itinerary of certain times of certain performances and Alice and I disagreed about um, how far apart the performances should be. She thought it should be longer for people to talk more. And I thought it should be um, closer together because I was worried about people getting bored. But on the actual performance, we sped it up anyway so it worked. Because people were walking around and once you've seen something or read something or written on a piece of paper, you've done it. And there's only so much you can do. So... Um, yeah... So I don't think there was much to s enough to see really and I was also worried if there was um, enough performance and quite a lot of the performance were monologue based. Although we had a song which was uh, played by a star on ukulele and we had a poetry, I kind of felt that we should have had 
more performance and being a bit more daring with it as we had all these other ideas like um, vagina mutilation or pornography um, where we could have done stuff with and be more experimental but we didn't know how to go about it so if I did it again I'd like to look more into it and find ways of how we can explore these different topics topics through performance we also I, we all we were also going to have five video diaries up on the side that people go and watch individually with headphones but of course the girls uh, didn't make them so it was a bit silly if it was just me and Alice having ours there because we didn't feel comfortable so we scrapped that part so I'd like if I did it again and my I got my cast involved I'd like them to be willing to do a lot of things but if they're not willing to do something else that's if they're not willing to do it then we find them something else to do so there's enough for people to do um, I also think the audience should have got more involved in things like for example they could have made their own vaginas or something or um, with the Volvo Club I wrote those that monologues that people read they could, people could have actually shared stories or made up a story I just think there should be more involvement of themselves or the audience themselves.